Devarim, Deuteronomy 17. You shall not sacrifice unto Yahuwah Eloheka any bullock or sheep wherein is blemish, or any evil favoredness. For that is an abomination unto Yahuwah Eloheka. If there be found among you, within any of your gates, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you, man or woman, that is wrought at wickedness in the sight of Yahuwah Eloheka, in transgressing his covenant, and has gone and served other Elohim, and worshipped them, either the sun or moon, or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. And it be told you, and you have heard of it, and inquired diligently, and behold, it be true, and the thing certain, that such abomination is wrought in Yashar'el, then shall you bring forth at the man or at that woman which have committed at that wicked thing unto your gates even at that man or at that woman, and shall stone them with stones till they die. At the mouth of two witnesses, or three witnesses, shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. But at the mouth of one witness, he shall not be put to death. The hands of the witnesses shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people. So you shall put the evil away from among you. If there arise a matter too hard for you in judgment, between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke, being matters of controversy within your gates, then you shall arise and get you up in the, into the place which Yahuwah Eloheka shall choose, and you shall come unto the priests, the Leviim, and unto the judge that shall be in those days, and inquire, at, and they shall show you the sentence of judgment. And you shall do according to the sentence, which they of that place, which Yahuwah shall choose, shall show you. And you shall guard to do according to all that they inform you. According to the sentence, of the Torah, which they shall teach you, and according to the judgment, which they shall tell you, you shall do. You shall not decline from the sentence which they shall show you, to the right hand or to the left. And the man that will do presumptuously, and will not hearken unto the priest that stands to minister there before at Yahuwah Eloheka, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and you shall put away the evil from Yashara'el. And all the people shall hear and fear and do no more presumptuously. When you are come unto the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me, you shall in no wise set him king over you, whom Yahuwah Eloheka shall choose. Rather, you shall in any wise set him king over you, which Yahuwah Eloheka shall choose. One from among your brethren shall you set king over you. You may not set a stranger over you, which is not your brother. But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause that the people to return to Mitzrayim, to the end that he should multiply horses. For as much as Yahuwah has said unto you, ye shall henceforth return no more that way. Neither shall he multiply women to himself, that his heart turn not away. Neither shall he greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. And it shall be, when he sets up the throne of his kingdom, 
that he shall write him at a copy of this Torah in a sefer out of that which is before the priests, the Leviim. And it shall be with him. He shall read therein all the days of his life that he may learn to fear at Yahuwah Eloheyu, to guard at all the words of this Torah and at these statutes to do them. That his heart be not lifted up above his brethren and that he turn not aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left. To the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Yashara'el.